Head of Operations at the National Ambulance Service, Foster Ansong Brijan, says the health ministry policy does not allow for ambulances to be given to government health facilities for keys. According to him, all ambulances managed by the service are dispatched upon request by health facilities for emergencies. The country currently has 150 ambulances, of which 100 have broken down. The remaining 50 on the road are being managed by the 130 ambulance stations across the country. Head of Operations at the National Ambulance Services, Foster Ansong Brijan, explained that the ambulances are not to be stationed at government health facilities but upon request in times of emergencies. By the policy of the Ministry of Health, ambulances are not supposed to be assigned to hospitals or health facilities. National Ambulance Service are mandated to manage the ambulances. Anybody who needs an ambulance will call our dispatch center. Then the dispatch center dispatch an ambulance which is closer to that health facility to come and pick you from there. He said the service is establishing more ambulance stations in more districts to enable speedy dispatch during emergencies. The head of operations said the policy has been in place since its inception in 2004, while the service is also training more personnel to be deployed to all the centers and yet to be established ones. He attributed the constant breakdown despite regular maintenance to their frequent use and poor road network. The last one of an ambulance which is working effectively efficiently 24-7. It's five years. The ambulances we are using now are above five years, seven getting to eight years. So certainly, in terms of maintenance costs, it becomes very high. We are seriously working on the broken down ones. Even as we speak now, there is a company who is also helping us doing the assessment of the broken down ones to see which of them we can quickly fix and adapt to the current fleet. He explained that persons requesting non-emergency services are expected to pay for services rendered. When you are running your program, like a festival, like a sports activity or recreational activity, and you need us to be on standby at where the program is going on. In that case, we ask you to support us with some fuel and also some medication that when we, we get there, we will use. Apart from that, if there are a, a stable case in a hospital, a, maybe a health center, a clinic, which needs to be referred to a major health facility for a higher level of care, in that case, we ask the hospital to organize and get us fuel to enable us to send the patient. Because you know, our services are free. We don't generate any income. Foster and Sombrijan said the service is still waiting for government to complete documentation on the procured ambulances as well as training of their staff. He said even though the inadequate number of ambulances is affecting their operations, he however believed the right thing must be done. This is uh, ambulances being procured by suppliers. Suppliers will have to finish whatever they have to do because they, they have some responsibilities as far as the ambulance are concerned. After that, there is also a component of training where the suppliers are supposed to train our personnel in the use of the vehicles because there may be new features on the vehicle that we may not be privy to. So they have to take us through the the National Ambulance Service has about 2,000 emergency medical technicians.